Today, Kevin and I are going to be comparing some white chocolate bars. This will be a lot of fun because honestly, this is something that we could do with American bars, compare white chocolate to white chocolate, or, and we just have not done it. These are Germany. This, these are from Germany. Maria sent us these from Germany. So thank you, Maria, for the candy bars and for the idea. I love it. Uh, this is the Alpia. This is Shogetten. This is a Toblerone. Milka. And this is a Ritter's Fork. And these are all white chocolate. Uh, so we, uh, Maria, um, like I said, or Kevin said, she mailed these from Germany. So on the way, somehow they got melted. Uh, not everything in the box, but a lot in the box was melted. So... Um, they probably sat in an airplane or something. No, actually, that one's a pretty decent That chocolate. one, yes. Uh, but you can see the, the Ritter Sports, um, yeah, they're kind of, uh, the Milka, they're kind of gnarly. I don't know if you can tell from that. But, okay, so we're going to try each one and maybe try to put them in some kind of order which way we like them. So, Alpia. Do you want a whole square? Yeah. Um, it feels soapy. Doesn't it? <laughs> Probably because it melted. That was a soapy-like texture, though. 100%. I wouldn't judge any of these on texture. No. Because being melted a little bit and then solidifying again, it's going to switch their texture a little bit. That... That's okay, but it's not very sweet at all. That's what I was going to say. It, um... It does not have a lot of sweetness to it. That tastes like a white chocolate you'd buy at the dollar store or something. Like a cheaper chocolate. Right. I don't think it tastes like, um, like any uh, white chocolate that we have here. <clears throat> no. It's just not as sweet. Honestly, it doesn't remind me of a cheap chocolate. It reminds me um, more like what the UK chocolate has. Um, it's just not incredibly sweet. And it depends on what cho white chocolate you get in the UK too, because some of it is just as sweet as ours. Uh, but we're used to incredibly sweet chocolate. Now normally chocolate. this is individual little squares. Yes, this is the Shogetten. <laughs> and kinda, this... They're all stuck together now. Uh, we can get a Shogetten brand at Aldi. So if you're wondering if you're in uh, America and you want to try a Shogetten, they have it at Aldi. Again, I'm not going to judge the texture. Because both of them have been gritty and grainy. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's just not as smooth as I know they really are. I'm gonna taste a lot like the first one. It tastes like the Alpia. I do think it's sweeter. A, a and touch. I do think it has a creamy flavor. So like the Alpia did not taste uh, creamy to me at all. That one actually, it tastes like like cream, you know? Um, there you go. And so, so far out of the two, I'm going with Shoget. I probably would out of those two, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's nice for us to keep tabs on which which one we would have. Uh, the Shogetten, I, I don't mind the texture. I know Kevin says they're gritty. It is gritty. I'm not saying it's a bad texture. I'm just saying I'm not judging on the texture. No. I know it's going to be smooth yes. a lot. It's funny how these are normally like little pyramids. And yes, it's literally and break them off. all stuck together. It's all together in one bar. So it must have melted pretty daggone good. So if you want to know what happens to what, what does it look like? Well, we're letting you know without you having to do <laughs> the experiment. This is what happens when it melts. Um, this is Swiss white chocolate with honey and almond nougat. So there is going to be a little bit of a difference because it has uh, honey and almond nougat. I have to say, that came off easier than a normal trouble on stew because it's hard to break them mm -hmm. Now, just going on the chocolate itself, that is a sweeter, more traditional for us white chocolate flavor. And it's much creamier. Mm -hmm. Much creamier. Yeah, that's that's closer to what we think of as white chocolate. It's not, um, yeah, it gets stuck in your teeth. 
No, you get a hunk of something. Well, I don't know. Is that the? Uh, do you think that is the nougat? Could be, and, and it's gotten hard. There are pieces because it melted. I'm not blaming Toblerone at all, because no, I've had these before, and it's not normally like this. Because it melted and then solidified again, those pieces of nougat are they feel like little pieces of plastic in there mm -hmm. but it's it's only i'm not going to judge it for that because you can chew them because they do chew up you but, can chew it but that one was a bigger hunk yeah. i had other pieces that was a big piece yeah. so yeah. i chose to. it almost tastes like honey almost but well it has honey in it yeah. I'm um, getting honey flavor. this so far is the best one oh yeah yeah uh, because it's so creamy and so uh sweet now this is a uh a milka is that when you split it? Um, oh, no. Maybe, but it does. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I don't know if we'll be able to do that or not. We'll try. No? Yeah. There we go. The back doesn't look bad. There we go. So this would ordinarily be in little squares once again. Not split though, right? Or are no, they separate? like yeah, like these. This is a regular candy bar. Yeah, like a regular candy bar, but they're perforated. <laughs> yeah. Not like a show get it's literally separate individual square. Mm -hmm. Now milk of, we usually absolutely love milk of. And I still do. Um, I do, but I don't like it as much as the. Does the table run? Um, You're not gonna be able to break that. <laughs> um, it's okay. It's it's more similar to the Alpia and the Shogetan, that kind of not quite as sweet flavor. Um, now, see, I thought the Milka was just as sweet as the table run. I didn't. I didn't I get would, that creamy white chocolate flavor from it. I thought it was pretty creamy. I do think the table run. Um, I think the table run just beats it. Uh, but it's just for me. Now the Ritter Sport's going to be, once again, like the Toblerone, it's going to be a little different because this is white with crisp. Yeah, like cereal pieces. Is this it? Mm -hmm. I like that you can actually kind of taste the cereal, the Rice crispy like things. No, it's good too. That would be my number two. Really? Mm -hmm. You don't like it? No, I do like it, but it just I, I wouldn't have the same order. No. Tumble run for me is number one. Okay. And then then that Ritter, and then the Milka. And you wouldn't get. The would, other two are, are basically tied because they taste the same to me. You know, we really did. Uh, we've had that Alpia brand in our favorites. We mm -hmm. really like that very brand. Good. But when it comes to all these white chocolates, I would not buy the Alpia again. Yeah, it's just not as sweet. Or it's it's not as sweet. Uh, the Shogetan is not as sweet. Now, I don't know if the one you get here in uh, at Aldi in the U.S. is different than the one that they actually have there. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it's it's made by a different company, just like Cadbury. Cadbury is not the same here as it is in the U.K., so you can't even compare the two. You're not getting traditional Cadbury here. Um... So I don't know about the Shogetan, but uh, I would not get either one of those again, Alpia or Shogetan. And out of the three, it's very hard for me. I'm still going to say Milka. I'm still going to say I would choose the Milka first, Toblerone second, and Ritter third. Yeah. So we got the same top three. Yes, same top three. I like the Milka. It just doesn't seem as sweet. Yeah, to me, it did seem... Um, I would rather two um, out of the two bars. The Toblerone does have the honey and the nougat. I would rather have the pure, pure white, white um, and that's why the Ritter. I like the crisp, but I would rather have the pure uh, white chocolate than have it with anything mm -hmm. in it. Um, so Milka is still going to be my number one. So Maria. This was very, very fun to do. I really enjoyed it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, it's fun. To this was fun. So, and even though they were a little uh, melted, they had melted and solidified again, 
It didn't make any difference to the taste, yeah, I don't think, at all. Really. Yeah, still good candy. Yeah, but like I said, the texture was, was I know for a fact, texture was impacted a little bit. Yes. But, but the but, flavor. But was. not the flavor, yeah. yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed it too, and thanks for watching. Milka Weiße Schokolade. Rittersport Weiß und Crisp. Schogetten Weiße Schokolade. Toblerone. Alpia. Weiße Schokolade.